Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show how you can create a welcome splash screen that will load up the moment a user opens up a workbook and it would be up to you if you want to either have the window one close on its own after a few seconds or if you want to wait until the user clicks it until they're able to use the the workbook. So let me go on and, sh and get this started. First thing that you're going to want to do is have your workbook open. Go to the developers tab and select Visual Basic. Insert your user form in this case I already created one if you haven't created one to the top left hand corner on the second button click down the drop down arrow and insert a user form go on and select that and you'll have a user form pop up just like this and what you're going to want to do is click the user form look at the properties window if you don't see properties go to view and select properties window scroll down to the property that says show modal and set that to false by default it's set to true but you want to set that to false that way you're able to create a splash screen. Your splash screen can be whatever you'd like. I mean, you can put, you can draw a label on here if you want that says, Welcome to the application. Just changing the caption. If you wanted to put a picture, you can draw an image onto your user form. Just click the image control and just draw that on. Now, I'm not going to place an image in here but you can put an image in here you can change properties around such as stretching out the image making the a special effect like having it raised kind of like a button this is where you'll get the picture select it from your hard drive just click that that button and it'll open up a dialog box to where you can pick your picture you can remove the border if you'd like um, currently the one with the special effect I have though the border won't be taken off but this is just going a little bit more about designing the user form. I'm mainly going to talk about creating the splash screen itself. So what you're going to want to do is double click your user form. And we're not going to use user form click, but what we're going to use is user form. And we're going to look for user form initialize. This is the code that will be executed when the user form is loaded. And what I'm going to do is use a timeout function that I have. I'm just going to copy this code and put it into my initialize. And for duration, we can just put, let's just put five seconds and then we'll put end. So now if I was to open up my user form and execute it, And I did one crucial mistake on user form initialize. The very first thing you want to do is put user form one dot show or whatever name of, the, of your user form. And I'm going to hit F5 to execute. So we should see it on the screen for about five seconds. And then after five seconds, it's going to disappear. Now, what we're going to want to do though is set this up on the workbook. So I double click my workbook from the Visual Basic environment click workbook and then it's going to be under workbook open so I'm going to put user form one dot show and let me go on and close this I'm going to save the project we have to make sure that we save it as a macro enabled workbook I'm just going to call this test splash and I'm going to go on and close that out so let me go on and open it now and here we have the user form loaded. If we were just to count the five seconds, we, we see that the form does disappear and now we can use our user form. So this is a real quick way to create a splash screen that loads up when you open up your workbook. Now what I do want to explain is that the way I have my settings set on Microsoft Excel, macros are automatically enabled. And if I go to macro security, let me go on and show you what I'm referencing. I put enable all macros. This is not recommended. Potentially dangerous code can run. By default, most computers are set to disable all macros, but with notification. And they have a little option that's right above the toolbar. It might be above or below the toolbar. I'm not entirely sure at this moment. But it says enable content. Whenever your user selects enable content, that's when the macro will be executed and they will see the splash screen. 
So one more thing, I explained that if you wanted to set up a splash screen that can be clickable and they can't access your Excel workbook until they click the form, then this is the way you would do that. Click the user form, you're going to do show model is equal to true, which is going to be the default. You're going to remove the user form initialize this, we're not even going to, going to use this. And what you're going to want to do is on your user form, anything they click, every control that you have, you want to put, you want to double click it and put end in it. So if they click the image, it's going to end it. If they click the user form, it's going to end it. So here I have the image, the form, and also the label. And the label, I'm going to double click it, and I'm going to enter in end. So now, if I close it, save changes, and I reopen it, now I cannot access the workbook, and I have to wait until I click the user form, and then there it ends. That way now I can access the workbook. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.